Yesterday, we announced the recent OpenAPI spec. For those of you who don't know, this is an industry standard format for describing RESTful APIs. And there's a huge community around it, a lot of tools around it, which really enables you to build all sorts of integrations. In this video, I'm going to show you some of those and what are the things that you can now do with this one simple file. Let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is use Postman. Postman is a popular API client that allows you to create collections and environments and really just organize all of your API requests in one place. So before, what you had to do was you would go to the recent docs, you would read every single API, and then you would try to like mimic that endpoint and, and include it here. Now you can just go to import, and now you can go to our GitHub repo that contains the recent OpenAPI spec. And if I just copy the raw content of that file and paste it here, Postman will already import that whole collection. And now we have it here. Every single endpoint from recent is available for me and I can just start playing around with this API. So let's do that. Let's send an email. You'll notice that all the headers, the body is already here, an example of the body. So the first thing we have to do is just change the authorization header so we can use our recent API. And I already went ahead and created an API for us to play around with this. It's called Open API Video. I'm gonna delete it right after this video, but let's just replace that with this value. Okay, we can save it. And now let's move to the body. And there are a lot of things that I don't need right now. I don't need tags or attachments or headers. So I'll just leave what I need, which is four parameters. The from address, which I'm gonna do hello at my domain.com. And then for the to address, I'll just use my work email. And then subject could be yay. And the HTML could be it works inside a paragraph tag. Okay, let's run this. Boom. Apparently, I sent an email. Let's check it out. Did we receive it? Come on, there you go. Here's the email. You can see that I ran a few tests before this video, so here it is. Uh, nice, it works. But what if you don't use Postman? What if you prefer a different API client like Insomnia or Rapid API? That's totally fine. Let me show you how to do it on Insomnia, for example. So this is the, pretty much the same flow. Uh, they have an option here for importing and you can just drag the file or put a an URL like we did on Postman or even just paste the contents of my clipboard. So let's do that. I'm going to go to GitHub and I'll just copy the raw file. I'll paste it here and scan. Cool. Now I can import. I can see the, the whole collection already available for me and I can see they generate the whole spec and it's right here. I can now see the documentation. I can try it out uh, different parameters. What about Rapid API? Let's try that too. So here on, on Rapid API, formerly known as Pawn, uh, you could just um, go ahead and, where is it? Import, okay, <laughs> I found it. You can just, you know, choose a new URL and we can copy this and paste it there. We can choose the Open API importer and now, there you go. Every single endpoint, the send email, everything is already available and documented here for me. I just have to now change a few things and just send. What if you don't wanna leave your code editor? What if you don't wanna to go to an API 
client or you don't want to go to your browser and go to the docs to see the API definition. Well, there's a way to do that on VS Code. Uh, I found this super cool extension called Open API Preview. And the beauty of it is that if you have any Open API file locally, and I've cloned that repo here, and you just type Open API Preview, that will generate a local documentation for you to see it as you are building that integration. So I could just like create a new file and start like integrating. And instead of going to a separate app, I can see exactly, okay, how this API works, what are the parameters, what do I need to, to send? And this is just amazing, you know, it removes that context switching and it just allows you to move way faster. And last but not least, imagine being able to create your own SDK from this one file using just one CLI command. You know, we have all these official SDKs at Resend for all these different languages, but we don't have for Rust, for example. So if you're enthusiastic about Rust, you wanna learn more about it, and you wanna, you know, integrate with Resend, you could just go ahead and generate an entire client library for you. Let's see how that works. Uh, now that I'm on my terminal, I'm going to use this open API generator CLI. And when I use this generate command, I can specify the language, the reference to the spec file, and the output directory. And after I run that, now I can just go to the recent Rust folder. And you know, like all of these things were created now for me, like the entire docs, like models and the APIs, all the different things that I need to now use this. Um, you know, there's a readme with the entire definition of the API. And yeah, this is now good to go. So this is the beauty of Open API. It just allows all sorts of integrations. And I hope this was helpful just to see like what are the things that you can now do with the recent API. Take care. See ya.